Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news. Man, we finna get into it again, y'all. It's another one of them Karen videos. Y'all know I love these videos, man. These my guilty pleasure. This time, it's grandmas. We doing grandmas. Uh, I mean, we ain't doing grandmas. I mean, you can do a grandma. I'm just saying. I done seen some grandmas. Some gifts. That's what they call them. But this is the grandma edition of the Karen videos I like watching, man. So let's check this out, yeah. Grandmothers are known for being calm and caring, but what happens when they find themselves on the wrong side of the law and try attacking cops? Get out! Don't touch me! Don't touch me, you idiot! You're going to jail now! But dumb grandmas who attack cops are more common than you'd think, like this 80-year-old woman who was caught driving while drunk and tried to fight her way to freedom. Hey, hey! Stop it! Stop. What are you doing? Stop. What are you doing? When police initiated a traffic stop in Illinois in March of 2021, they came across an elderly driver who appeared to be driving dangerously, hey, veering across the road and putting oh, other drivers bro. at risk. When cops approached her, they it's instantly ripped. realized she'd been drinking, and when confronted about this, she decided to act more like an 8-year-old than an 80-year-old, trying to kick and scream her way out of an arrest. Hello. Hey, are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What is going okay. on? Okay. I can't see. Uh, like, all these people. All these no people. No matter how oh, hard you work, all these people. Come the on, unexpected can still video. happen. People are, like, driving all over the lines, whatever. Okay, I, I stopped you for you a few been things. Driving all when over I, was, you. I was coming the other way. You had your high beams on oh. at me. Are you? And then, and then you hit this curve over here. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm like, all these people are like flashing lights all over the place. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. All these other people are like driving like in the wrong lane and not signaling or whatever. Where is she I, I try to do the right thing. Being 80 years old doesn't mean you're going to get off lightly when you're caught breaking the law. But right. that's going to be one of the ways the driver, later identified as Gwendolyn, would try to get out of the situation. But with over 200 deaths in alcohol-related car crashes in Illinois the previous year alone, these cops won't accept any excuses. Carriage, I he was, he was, he was got her high beams on coming at me. I don't need to know about the try to flash her. She's kind of all over the place right now. She doesn't remember, like, what I'm asking for and stuff. I smell a little bit of booze. Hello, oh, were you able to find your insurance? Well, I don't know. That's what I have, okay? Okay. I, I have insurance. Yes, I do. Okay. You don't have to get upset. How much have you had to drink today? I not much. I okay. not much. I can smell, I can smell <laughs> the odor of uh, alcohol beverage coming from you. Well, like a long time ago, I had like one drink. Did I have one drink? One drink so like like three hours ago. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have you come out of the vehicle. Okay. <laughs> Well, okay, because you know what? I'm 80 years old. Okay, okay so I, I understand that. You have to take that. I, I, I do take okay. that into consideration. So, what do you want to know? Gwendolyn has just admitted <laughs> to having a drink, but claims it was just the one. But no matter how much this grandma denies it, it's pretty clear she shouldn't be behind the wheel of a car in her condition. Still, Ooh, the cops need to confirm insanity. all of this That's with a series of tests. Stand just like that. Can you See the tip of my finger? Yes, I can. I'm going to have you walk nine heel to toe steps down a line in front of you. I can't. I'm 80 years old. Okay. I can't even do that, okay? How about I demonstrate? Hang on one second, ma'am. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. Ma'am, hang on. Nope, nope, nope. Hey, hey, hey. Here, here, here. So what, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to make sure that you're not <laughs> impaired, and then I let you drive off, okay? I can't I'm do that. Not. Who the car with let them drive. I'm not the old lady going to Okay. I mean, give her a ticket down Hold up. Stop, 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 stop. The person drives in the car with your car, okay? Here, here, here. Ma'am, ma'am. All right, stop, stop. What? What do you want? I can't do that because I cannot do that. I'm 80 years old. All right. Why are you doing yeah, this to me? Obviously, they're doing this to Gwendolyn because they think she's a danger to other road users. But despite repeatedly reminding the officers of her age, she seems to be in great physical shape and had no problem power walking up and down the road a moment ago. However, when it comes to actually doing the tests, she tries the frail old lady routine and right. makes this traffic stop as difficult as possible. I'm freezing! Okay. I'm freezing! I'm freezing! Would you like to provide a breast sample? No. 
Uh, I am an hold. excellent fucking Bam. driver. Bam. Do you also... want to provide a breath sample or not? No. Otherwise, I can smell the order of alcohol of beverage. Oh, it, you I'm not, I'm not admitting that I You're did not You're having difficulty have... walking from your car. I'm to 80 your... fucking years old, and all okay? Of these, He's saying I'm 80. Is the totality of circumstances here, okay? If Gwendolyn is as innocent as she claims, she'd have no problem taking the tests, but failure to do so will only make a cop suspicious and will still land you down at the station where they'll test your blood alcohol level anyway. She claims she's having trouble walking, but the cops decide they've had enough and try to get her in handcuffs. So without being able to understand where your blood alcohol level is and without you being able to complete the rest of the field sobriety tests, I... I'm 80! Years oh man, I need, you some, I, need, I need some better grandma on the side. I need to see. Okay, turn around for him behind your back. Nope, nope, ma'am, 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 ma'am. Don't kick me. Don't kick me. She fighting me. You are being placed under arrest for DUI. Wait, wait, wait. Can you explain it? This will not. You will have additional charges. Stop resisting, police. Put your knee on the nigga. Stop, stop, stop. Push up against the car. Come on. She resisted. You are too. Stop. Stop kicking me. Stop. Slam to the ground. Oh my God. This thug. Get this thug. Man, man, man. Stand off. Do she fake fake. I can't breathe. Okay. Anyone trying to go ahead? Okay, don't. Stay there. But for someone who claims they struggle to walk, is 80 years old, and is currently unconscious, nice Gwendolyn shit. still seems to have the energy to resist She's arrest. Yes, I can sit up. Stop it! Don't resist it! Kill yeah, come over here. Do me a favor. Put your hands behind your back because we're gonna manually do it for you, and you it's not gonna be good. If you have to fucking do this, you're gonna fucking fight me. You say you gonna fight me, bitch? Fight, spit, man. Yeah. <laughs> Lady routine goes out the yeah, window no. again when she takes another swipe at one of the officers. This is a kick. Hey, hey. This is crazy, Stop man. It. What Stop. are you doing? Stop. What are you doing? Stop. Stop it. Okay, if you kick me, you're going to get a charge. You need to stop. You need to Night stop. Stickle. Okay? Night sticker. Night sticker. Stop. What's wrong with you? Hit him at the old ass thing. You're what? kicking at us. You don't need to be kicking at us. Yeah, the fuck nigga up down. seven times from Monday. My glasses. Well you, well, you know what? If you didn't kick us, maybe that's the best thing so you can't see to kick us. <laughs> you somebody grandmama, man. That's fucked if up. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to come front and you're going to kick shit, me. Man. Oh, well, you f***ing deserve it. Okay. Oh, my God. You f***ing. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at the f***ing oh, oh, oh. I need my glasses. I need. I be careful so you don't get kicked. Be careful so you don't get kicked. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cops for a little old woman. Six cops. I mean. It's y'all fault, man. Y'all ain't slamming to the fucking door. Oh my God! There's absolutely no reason See? to be abusive to police or first responders. All Gwendolyn is doing is adding potential charges to her DUI. And what's worse, by refusing the field sobriety test, her license will be suspended following Illinois state law. If she refuses the breathalyzer test back at the station, then that suspension will be for at least a year. If being overly entitled was a crime, she could probably be charged with that as well, as she's not finished making this arrest as awkward as possible. What are you doing? I have to Just say, don't want to stand up. Don't you stop, 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 stop. Do a, get a stop, lock her ass the fuck up. Stop, stop, she is a goddamn menace to the future. <laughs> You just need to calm down so we can do it. Kick her ass, man. Kick her fucking ass. Put the damn the shit on her head. Check that bitch ain't looking like that damn Hannibal Lecter. We all take her into the back room. Into the jailhouse. Make that bitch look like Hannibal Lecter. Look at this bitch crazy. Okay, stop. You're breaking my Stop. heart. You're breaking. That bitch oh gonna be oh sore yeah. tomorrow. Oh, you care yourself? Look at her. Yeah, look, look, like look how she yeah. looks. Oh my god. You're breaking my heart. I feel so bad for it. I'm taking this tape. I'm gonna like you like this. That's a little old lady. Oh.
<laughs> Police brutality. Crazy shit. I used to feel sorry for you people, and now you people. No. What the? I'm glad there's no black cops out there. The back of the car. Over here. Even the back of the patrol car isn't safe from Gwendolyn's anger. And it's credit to the officers involved that they remained professional throughout this arrest after scenes just Spread like this. Look at him. Oh, Look at him. Stop kicking the car. Put your foot down. Put your foot down. Okay. Geraldine, watch your head. All right. You have to come out. I have a whole different perspective. I understand that. Police brutality. Hey, police brutality. You sit up for us? You know, I used to. They did not kick your ass. No, I know. We're trying to get you out of the car, though. They did not kick your ass like the shit hell. This is fucking wild. Who knows that? I'm not gonna find out when you're I'm not DUI. I'm not. No. You fucking pieces of shit. But at this point, she figures the damage is already done and has a final outburst. And she's going to be facing the worst hangover ever from inside oh a jail God. cell. Well, how many of you did it take? Just stay seated, okay? Just stay seated. Stay seated. Stay seated. Stay seated. Stay seated. Fuck you. She faced a myriad of charges, including aggravated battery of an officer, driving under the influence, reckless driving, and, not surprisingly, resisting arrest. She was given a 12-month court supervision order, but the majority of her charges were dropped. But when your own son calls the cops on you for violence, something has to be very wrong. Get the fuck and that's out of here. They said majority of her charges was dropped. All that shit she did, that bitch had an eight-minute tussle with the police. We just saw this. Eight to nine minutes. I think they killed George in five minutes, six minutes. It's a number out there. They killed that nigga quick. But this bitch right here did all that. Come on, man. Make it make sense. Caused this grandma to try and escape the cops and endure this humiliating arrest. And I will be suing the Naperville Police so Indiana, Office in, 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 for Illinois. this Naperville. arrest and this officer. Uh oh is part and parcel of that. It's July 8th, 2023, Illinois. and cops have been called to an address where a domestic violence <coughs> incident is taking place. Yeah, an argument pleasure. between a mother and a son became so heated that things turned violent. And when police arrive, the son has video evidence to back up his claims that he's the victim of an assault. Why don't you have a seat on you the ground? Asked for me, you, you asked me for some ID. I yeah. went so to go get you some ID. Well, ma'am, I'm here now. And Can I, asked, I no, get no. my ID? No, ma'am. I'm asking you nicely to please just take a minute right here. What Donna doesn't know is that her son has accused her of attacking him and shown them the video evidence he has on his phone. Now they have enough probable cause to make an arrest and there's no way Donna is getting out of this. However, she seems to think that trying to leave the scene is a genius move. But she's got no idea that's only going to make things much worse. Do you have that on your video so. that he asked me for some ID? No, ma'am, I was not present. Ma'am, what's your name? What's on your ID? What's on your video? Video. Uh, I'm comfortable Wait. with the video I just watched and so with the you? obvious signs of injury. All right, I will go. Turn around, this is man, you're house. under arrest right now. Oh, Why? You're under Drop arrest for Why? domestic battery. I need Drop you to stop tensing Why? up. Please tell me. May I? I am under arrest. Please tell me. Why, ma'am? I, ma ma I advise you. Domestic battery. Are you taping this? I have asked multiple 
time. I've got a Why I am under arrest for You're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna hurt yourself, yourself ma'am. I don't want Could someone tell me? Anyone? I have a video and obvious signs of injury, ma'am. That's why you're under arrest right now. Please give your name for the video. Man, if you stop tensing up, it's going to be a lot more comfortable for you. Not tensing up. The officers seem to have made it clear that she's under arrest for domestic battery. And at this point, they have a right to detain her until they find out more. Okay, we're not going to play the game. Listen. We ain't going to do like the other people do. Put your ass on the ground. Recovery position. Here we go. Here we go. Bam, are you okay? Check her pulse. Oh, no, she's breathing. She's fine. Okay. Yeah. Come on up. Let's get her in the car. You play dead. Simply pretending to be unconscious isn't going to make these cops go away and forget everything that's happened. Especially when she's not doing a very good job of it. Donna, I can see you moving. Yeah, I'm moving. Donna, we know you're okay because you're breathing and your eyes keep opening. Are you okay? Are you okay? Let's get you stood up. Let's get you to the car. Let's pick her up or what do you guys want to do? Grab her. 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 Moving your feet just fine. There we go. Good job. Run, Donna. Do some make, make, Pick me up. Pick me up. Take me we can both carry your shoulders if you carry your feet. Yep. In the end, yep. it's easier to That's just pick do. Donna up and carry her to the patrol car. <laughs> this is like one of those bad videos for soccer when they can't carry a player off the field. Oh, you, I, right. Well, I want to support both of her shoulders. Yeah. Don't do it. Just get ass in the car. Just get ass in there. Passive resisting is the same. Nah. Donna, you need to. She, you, that, in the court of law, she was like, look, I fell out. So you can't say passive resisting. I don't know. I ain't never heard that before. Is that. I, I never heard that before. Passive resisting. Because I always thought, like, I'm, I'm going to jail. Take me to jail. If you're going to take me to jail, take me to jail. With Donna out cold, or at least pretending to be, this cop shit. could be forgiven for thinking she's in for a quiet drive to the station, but she's out of luck when Donna miraculously awakes just in time to give the cop a piece of her mind. Robert 22, I just need one more person because she's twice my size. Just need one person to help me. Could you please tell me why I'm on progress? <laughs> could you please just tell me why I'm in? She like scared, but you just threw it in there. They thought that they got the dead body and they started talking. Would you please tell me why? <laughs> She's stupid. She crazy as hell. Look at her, man. This bitch is a horror film. Look at her face, man. Oh, my God. Donna. This summer. No. Halloween. This shit crazy. Here, could you please tell me your name, officer? I have not been provided anybody's names, including yours. Okay, we all know that everything in this car is taped. And now we know that this female officer who has blonde hair in a bun she and who her. has earrings yeah. that hang down to her shoulders, and I do not know her name, <sighs> but we all know that this officer... You a bitch, yo. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the car with a blonde hair woman with her earrings come to her... Bitch, you got drugs to the fucking police car in the back seat. You got thrown in there, and you over there calculating the length of her earring to her show. This bitch is a... Is not willing to provide her name, even though she is driving me to the police station on a Friday afternoon <laughs> in July. <laughs> and she is saying that I'm <coughs> under arrest, but there is absolutely no record of an arrest. What? This is and shit right I here. will be suing the Naperville Police Office for this arrest, and this officer is part and parcel I'll be of that. Like, really? You want to tell me your <laughs> name yet? Which is illegal for so the case. <laughs> there is absolutely no grounds for my arrest. The charges against her show the police had more than enough oh grounds God. for an arrest, with two counts of domestic battery and ah, resisting okay. arrest. But this grandma scared her ex-boyfriend. This Dr. Insanity, man, this on YouTube, man. I kind of like this now. At first, I was like, man, I don't want to hear your shit, man. Talk about my... <coughs> but now I do. 
He put these together pretty well, man, because he give you the damn the shit what happened to him afterwards and shit and shit and shit. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. I like this. Let's keep it going. And so much that he was forced to get a police escort to get back to his own home. I want him out of my house. I am okay. Get out of my house, man. Oh, yes, yes, I am. Beginning. Get out of my house. Okay. I'm sick. You're get out of I'm my sick. house. No. Get out of my house. I am not laughing. You're you touching are. me. Get out. You're, you're touching you're me. Touching you're me. Touching you're me. Oh, the victim yeah. called 911 oh in December God. 2022 and oh claimed God. he'd been in an abusive yeah. relationship with his ex. Yeah, pussy in the air. Oh, pussy in the air. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. The victim called 911 in December 2022 yeah, and claimed he'd been in an abusive relationship with his ex and Brandy feared for his own safety if he went back home without backup. All he needed to do Upside was collect down, his Brandy belongings pussy. and he'd be on his way. But his ex, Tammy, wasn't playing oh, ball whoa. and had locked her herself and his belongings in an upstairs room. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that it had to come to this. You leave me no choice. Man, show his I'm face too. my stuff out. Tammy. Show grandma pussy right, there. Well, what about the stuff that's show down here? Too. Can you get your meds? And then Tammy's upstairs. Meds. She's uh, got his stuff upstairs. Tammy. There, grandma pussy Tammy, out. where's Randall's stuff? Tammy, the sooner he gets his stuff, the sooner he's out of here for good. Tammy, that dog bites us. That dog's going to be in trouble. I'm just telling you that right now. Shoot Control him. your dog. I'm shoot him. Control your dog. Tammy, we can't hear you because of the dog. Tammy, you need to turn your phone on so that we can at least talk to you over the dog, please. We can't hear you over the dog. Tammy, we can't hear you over the dog. I am the supervisor. Come talk to me. Shoot the dog. Then please come here and tell us your side of the story and put the dog away. Jimmy, we can't hear you. Get out of my house now. You are going to be in big Put the dog away and talk. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. All right, well, this situation is not going to go away. Get the out of my house now. Tammy, this situation is not going away. He needs his property. He's a liar. Get him out of my house. I am not going to have him touch me again. Right, exactly. He doesn't want to. He the door away. He wants to have anything in here. Where is his? Where is his wallet? I don't know. Ask him. He walked out. He said you have it. No, I don't have it. I don't have anything of his stuff. No, I am super ill. And he needs to walk out. You know what I'm saying? In my house without my legal permission. Tammy. I will call and I will call my attorney. And the Tammy, Tammy we are not harassing you. No, no, no we're not. not. We are not harassing you. Uh -oh. No. I'm calling the cops. Okay, call him. <laughs> It seems Tammy's super illness isn't affecting her vocal cords, as she furiously screams at the cops who are simply trying to resolve a domestic dispute. If she has his belongings, then all she has to do is hand them over and everyone will leave her alone. But she's going to make things even worse for herself when she finally shows up. If your dog attack, go in the garage. Go in the garage. Tammy, if your dog attacks us, it'll get shot. If your dog attacks us, Shoot that motherfucker. What? Get out of my house now. Oh, no. get out of my house Don't now. Don't push. Get out of my house now. Get out of my house. Get you just my up. Oh, back up. Get out of my house. Back up. Don't get out of my house. Don't go out of my house. Don't touch me. Get out of my house. Don't touch me. You think you can do something, bitch? Get out of my house. I don't want you in my house. Who pushed it? I want him out of my house. Get out of my house. Get him. No, get him. 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 Thankfully, her dog was still locked away, but if Tammy is going to try and convince the cops she's the victim, then she's going about it the wrong way altogether. Although men are less likely to be the victim of domestic oh. abuse, they still make up for 25% of all cases. Her ex-boyfriend has been nothing but calm, but Tammy has boyfriend? displayed erratic and abusive behavior from the second the police arrived. But the worst is yet to come. Okay. Get out of my house, oh, oh. Over to get work on. Yes, I am. Get out of my yeah, house. Okay. Yeah, I'm sick. Get out of my house! Don't grab me! Get out of my house! I am not laughing at you! You're touching me! Get out of my house! You're touching me! Touch me! Don't touch me! You f***ing!
Every trick I'm in the off. book to re- <laughs> Yum. Oh, man, we get this the way, That's man. a tasty Yum. looking email. Tasty with looking square. Email. Resist arrest, but claiming she can't breathe and needing the bathroom isn't going to get everything. her- Come on, get off me, man. I can't breathe. I'm about to shit on myself. <laughs> At least anytime soon. I shit on myself. Get no. off me! Get off me! I have to use the bathroom! Oh my god damn it! You are so. Let me go, god damn it! Stop screaming! I got to go to the bathroom! Stop screaming! I got to go to the bathroom! Stop screaming! I got to go use the bathroom! You've got to calm down! Oh my god damn it! I've got to go to the bathroom! He's a It's cases just like this that body cam can prove to be a vital tool. Everything that's happened has been recorded, including another outburst by Tammy aimed at the nearest officer within reach. You kick me in the crotch. Come on. You just kicked me in the groin. Get away from me. Good Lord. your ass down. God damn it. Are you all right? Shit on yourself, bitch. I gotta go to the bathroom. You're going to jail. I can't breathe. Look at him. I can't breathe. you can. Yeah, you can. Keep talking. Say your best. You're hurting my goddamn breath. Then sit and behave yourself. I gotta poo, you dummy. Well, I'm not letting you into the bathroom by yourself. Why? What am I going to do? Pull on my on, on you? Well, you've kicked me. Oh, you're Push a liar. Me. You're such a goddamn liar. You just liar. did. You're such a liar. All right, all right. Stop. Just Let stop. Just go. stop. Stop. Yes. Just, tell him just stop, stop it. Stop. You're, you're in my, my house. Partner. You're in my house you harassing me. My I'm an abusive guy. You kicked no, my partner. I didn't. Let you. your dog do it. I didn't hear from you. It bit me. It bit him. Did the you know dog what? He shouldn't be in my house. Did the dog it's his house too. No, it's not. Yes, he's yes, got no, his it's personal not. belongings here. He doesn't. He and it's key. not his house. No, he doesn't. And that's what I've been trying to tell you guys. No, you both. And you went yes, I have. To talk to us. No, I did tell you. No, you and I told to talk them. to us. And I want to use the bathroom now because I got all over myself. I am a human being. And, and you guys are acting like. So this is an her. innocent woman who has been abused, and you're abusing her you more. My partner, you kicked You guys partner. are in you my pushed, house. You pushed you're all of us. Shut up, let us hit himself. Look at him. This bitch crazy. He's he scared me to death. He needs to get close. He's, he's got a minimal amount of time. He's this is ridiculous. You, you are going to be ashamed of yourself. What's the name? Not when you kick my partner. No, I'm sorry. You'll have to. You're full of Really? You Tell me what you did. You my name. For what you did. Listen to me. My name and badge number will be on the report right. and on the charging document. You're right. They will. Yeah. Because I'm going to talk. I am going to tell everybody. I about will this. give you all of my supervisor's right. contact I information. Will. Stop and pushing I... my neck down. I have spine surgery type four. Okay. You're hurting me. Okay. Please well, get me on off my hands. No. I am. I got to go to the bathroom. Get these cuts off so I can use the goddamn bathroom. I'm not feeling well. Tammy claimed she was innocent, but this body cam footage helped her to get charged with domestic battery, and Damn. hopefully her ex-boyfriend got his belongings back in the process. These cops, however, were called to the scene of a noise complaint, and were met by perhaps the uh -oh. most entitled and aggressive grandmother of uh -oh. all time. You need to get away from the house. And you... Yeah, I don't like you either, so as long as we're clear. I am a, a nurse, and I did 12 an years LPN? of it, yeah. and you need to get off, and I told you this no, is the no, law. No. 
building. Get outside of my building now. The woman is clearly intoxicated and right. completely unaware of what's going on. Remember, she's the one that called the cops to her building, but it seems she's completely forgotten exactly why she did that <laughs> and is now taking offense to the police's presence in what her building. What are you building. here for? You're a lieutenant? No, I'm not a lieutenant. So get down! Because I'm not a lieutenant, I need I said get down! I dare you to touch me. That would be great. Oh, God damn. That would never happen. Who called you? I'm telling you to get out of the building. I'm upset. I need to go to the hospital. What's wrong? And why is this happening? Why? 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 We're not even speaking anything. Tell him to get out. He's drunk. Bye. 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 You want to tell us why you called? The cops are clearly not phased by the woman whatsoever. They want to and are just there to around. do their jobs. They were called by the woman and want to get to the bottom of why. If they can determine that it was done maliciously with no good reason, they can charge her for wasting police resources. But with the way things are going, she's about to catch a disorderly conduct case right. as well. You don't ever come around my door. How about this? Here. Don't call us and I won't come back here. I will have you. This far. This far. Okay. Like, have me this far. Please do it. I she a lawyer. Nurse I mean, he, he a lawyer. Over many years. I don't care. Exactly. I don't care. I don't care. They fucking with him. They, they antagonize him. I think it's all itself. Oh. And you don't ever walk oh. over there. Get inside. Get inside. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna treat you like a four-year-old and start counting if you don't go in there. I have a lot of building. Wrap me out. You leave it alone, man. I mean, yeah. Lot building. She's just going I'm telling you. Right, just go yeah, I just walk, I walk you down you the do not she come, come, come down the Shut up. The officers know the woman is just extremely drunk and confused, and staying on her property is just making things worse. So they decide to just leave and hope she manages to settle down. But before they do, they see her leave her apartment and start attacking one of her tenants. After her arrest, the woman was taken to the police station for further processing, oh. where she continues to be loud, angry, and yes, awkward man. as ever. What's in my name? Ann Stinson! Uh, Ann Stinson! <laughs> my name is Ann Stinson! Call my family! Look at the camera. Now take my... Look at the no! Camera. I said no! Miss Katie, no. <laughs> I want to see how far I'm shot! Are you going to be able to get through this? No! Oh, no. Is he going to be able to get through this problem? Is he? Okay, listen, listen to me. Are you listening? I didn't do anything oh, wrong. Come on, black man. He did this. He did this. What's your time to you next? No! It took a while, but the woman was eventually processed and charged with disorderly <laughs> conduct. She was allowed to sleep off the alcohol in jail and sent back on her way. But yeah. somehow, this woman doesn't come close to the level of anger that this one did, uh -oh, eventually choosing to try and fight oh, the cops arresting her. Like I'm the manager of the airport here, and I want it now! On the 25th of May, 2021, police were called to a public disturbance. Hey, like I said, man, big shout out to Dr. Insanity, man. This shit got a dope, man. I, I, I kind of like what I said. I like the way he formatting this shit, man, giving you a little backstory and all that shit. Hey, he took his time to do some shit like this, man, so... Whoever that nigga is, man, he insane for this. And at an airport, they had no idea what to expect, but they didn't think it'd be this bad. Police officer. I did nothing. Ma'am, what happened? This guy chuckled no. at me. What the f is wrong with him? Calm down. Keep it down. Okay. No, you need to talk to him. He chuckled at me. They saw it. You My saw God. Calm down. Calm down. No, that guy needs to be arrested. Come on, let's go over here. You saw it. You saw it. Ma'am. You saw it. He choked on me. Ma'am, what's your name? I'm Officer Off. He threw me to the ground. What's your name? My name is Terry Ann Blue. 
Let's come over here and we'll talk, okay? As you'd expect, none of the other passengers saw anyone chokehold Terry, but they did see her drunkenly rush to her gate and push past other passengers to get to the front of the queue. A passenger stopped her from pushing past and forced her back in line. This caused her to start yelling and claiming that she was assaulted. As you can tell from this next clip, her actions didn't make her very popular with the other passengers. I want the manager of the fucking airport here! Who saw me choking? Choking! Who saw him choke me to the ground? Who saw me? Here. I saw you run through the door here. when you weren't supposed he to. He Ma'am, let's talk to you. Ma'am, let's go over here. Ma'am. I'm a let's woman in a dress! Ma'am, let's go over here. Ma'am, let's go over here, Ma let's go over here. okay? Boo-hoo! You fuck off! Okay, we'll get the manager. I'm I'm the the manager here. Okay, we'll get the manager. I'm I'm the I'm the the I'm the I'm the i i i i i Inciting a ride. You get in trouble for this shit. I don't want it now! Terry continues to scream and plead for one of the other passengers to stand up for her and say they saw the attack, but to no avail. She spends the next five minutes repeating the same story and doesn't stop screaming at any point. So the Sweet. cop decides instead to go and talk to the man that she's claiming attacked her. But the interaction didn't go the way the cop expected. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you. Was it you? Yes. Can you come out? Sure. She's not going to bother. You can come out too. So what happened? She was making a ruckus over there in front of the bank. She came up behind us to get in the boarding line. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't her group, I guess. She tried to bust through? Yeah. She came over and shut the door to us. The door was halfway shut. She came rushing through the door. She said that you grabbed her neck. So you have an idea or anything? Absolutely, yeah. The man explained his side of the story politely, stayed calm, and complied with the officer. A direct contrast to how Terry is still acting. Yeah, he's a, Terry, he's calm down and breathe. No, Damn, I won't even admit it. That. Let's go have a seat. No, this guy choked over me. Look at the cameras. Okay. To stay in, he threw me no, to the ground and choked over me. Another passenger. Uh -huh. she came with me. I just guarded you know myself. Because that woman at the reservation just sent him on me. You want to come have a seat so I can help you? Well, please help me. I'm here to help you, okay? Let's get you sit down so you can catch your breath. You want some water? You want to go to the water fountain with me? That's the water fountain over here, okay? Do you want to get some water? Sure. Yeah, everybody, thank you for sticking up for me. Okay. She's temperamental, but she's slowly calming down. However, she's still lashing out at the passengers for not immediately rushing to her aid. Thank you for helping me! That's her stuff. Okay, thank you. assholes! There, no. Some America, they all saw it. They all saw it. Okay, Terry. He's still there in the door. The guy that choke holding me. There, okay. Here, get some water. Yeah, don't care about my shit. I don't care. I just want to go home. Oh my God, I'm never flying again. I can't stand America. I'm moving to Spain. Off, um, Did you have anything to drink, Yes, I did. It's not against the law. No, it's not. How much did you have a drink today? I had a couple of margaritas. A couple of margaritas. <laughs> you can go talk to the bartender. I had a very fine time with those people until I got here. Terry is right. It's not illegal to have a few drinks, but it's almost certainly contributing to her outburst. At this point, it's been almost 15 minutes, and she's still yet to calm down. In fact, she seems to only be getting worse. You go talk to him. Tell that guy Trump holding me. Fair. No, you haven't even got. She might be a scared flyer or something. You know, this at the airport, so she probably tried to take the little nerve off, and she ain't used to drinking two damn margaritas and probably the pills she probably took to get on that before she left that motherfucking house or left where she at. Bitch, pop, hey, bitch, pop up. Pop a couple of these, and before you get on there, you be cool and calm. She mixed that shit, man. Now she him off up. the plane to talk to him. Terry. No! Relax. You need to investigate. Relax. I, Terry, relax. I'm a retired officer. Okay. I don't know. I don't have to. Who are you a police officer with? NYPD, is that good enough? 
No, that's, that's good. Thank you for your service, Terry. No, I don't need to explain why that guy chokeholded me when he's a passenger. Okay. And nobody here stood Terry. up for me. Nobody Terry. fucking took a report, nothing. Terry. It's Terry. all on camera. Everybody saw it. Terry. Nobody would stand up and said this girl was chokeholded by a passenger. Terry. Shame on all of you. Shame Terry. on you. Terry, calm down. I don't give a fuck. That's why America is fucking going to the dogs. Because nobody will stand up for anyone. Terry. You fucking piece of shit. Terry. Put your other arm behind your back. Give me the other arm, Terry. I'm not. No. Uh oh. I'm being arrested for being chokehold. Please, worry. someone film this. Please. You don't unlock it? God damn it. Please, someone. All of the attempts to calm Terry down failed. It's, a, it's the people, like. The, the, the craziest part to me is a lot of the shit going down. People just minding their own fucking business still. People do not give a fuck what she going through. Yo, that's crazy. All this commotion going on. You see people with their head down, still looking at their phone. Like, yeah, man. Fuck this bitch. Like, that's crazy. And she out there embarrassing her motherfucking family. Bitch. So the cops were left with no choice but to put her in cuffs and take her away. But even this didn't look, stop look, her from I'm... screaming and being violent against the officers. The stop! And if you calm down, it won't hurt anymore. Oh, you fucking asshole. Put my legs down! Put my legs down! Put my legs down! Keep kicking me. Please! Look. Somebody film this! Terry. God damn it, leave me alone! Get the pearls on. Me. She told me she would help me. She's a fucking two face. I just got you kicking, my, kicking my partner on camera, so yeah. I don't care. I've never even been jail in my life. Terry was then He's taken out of the wheelchair and cops attempted to put her in the back of the patrol vehicle. But who would have guessed? This just made her more violent. Oh, I told you to talk to the bartender. Please help me. Let go of the cops. We're not taking the cuffs off. I'm not fucking doing anything unless you let go of these fuck. You break my arm. I'm not trying to break your arm, but you are you a state of resistance. No, I'm not. I'm a man. Don't do this to me. Step up, man. This is God damn it. Man, step up. Step no. Step in the vehicle. You fucking asshole. Let me alone. Let me alone. Terry. Let me alone. They're fucking taking my arm. God damn it. You motherfuckers! Take these cuffs off of me! I'll go quietly! You take these fucking goddamn cuffs off of me! not taking the cuffs? No! After literally five minutes of effort, the cops were finally able to get Terry in the back of a police car, where she continued to scream for the entire ride back to the jail. After the presumably long journey for the cops, Terry was charged with public intoxication, resisting arrest, possession of marijuana, and possession of a dangerous drug. Most people don't associate grandmothers with drunken violence. Hell no, nah. this bitch had weed and other drugs. Man, who he taking reefer to the airport for? This bitch was fucked up. We ain't gonna make y'all do that shit, man. I don't care what nobody say. It was something else. I ain't even think about weed, man. I thought it was alcohol and pills of some sort. Um, weed calmed me the fuck down. So that she did, she might have needed to smoke. Violence, but this woman defies convention uh -oh. and even resorted to racism. Oh shit! This officer was called to a bar on the night of August 11th, where there was an intoxicated woman allegedly attacking multiple people and causing a serious disturbance. Okay. The okay. woman was quickly identified as Christina Cabot, the wife of the previous mayor of the town, and someone who has clearly overstayed her welcome at the bar. Okay. That bitch is crazy. No, this is a true story. She has literally been in here. She walked into me. Why are you in here? I said, oh, it's a cool part. I don't like you. You're black. I said, you know what I mean? She's been the bar for a while. I was like, this being dumb. Yeah. No, no. I don't know what little she is. She's Tim Kennedy. We all do that. Yeah. You all do that. Yeah. Just, yeah, maybe take her, take her to the next city over. <laughs> I've been but doing she's, a lot she's of times. She's been touching people, pushing people. Yeah. Yeah. She, I mean, no, you, you know, she pushed me to take this back. Get the fucking bar, doing y'all thing, smoking the drink or whatever. And some shit going on. Y'all out there talking to the police. Yeah, man, this old girl wife. Um, yeah, she, she don't, man, fuck that. I ain't that comfortable to talk to the police, man. I mean, I ain't doing shit to, but fuck that. I ain't talking to no damn po- I ain't telling! Motherfuckers, they telling, they snitching! I mean, 
You had to be involved in some shit to be snitching, you know, but just being all chatty patty with the police. Yep. Other patrons of this bar detail exactly what Christina has been doing to cause the disturbance, and it's clear she hasn't made herself pop. It ain't snitching. Check it out. Sam Adams made a light beer. Crisp and easy drinking. Your cousin from Boston. Popular. This is also the... Yeah. If I get this clear, it ain't snitching if you um ain't involved. Like you gotta be a thug and another thug and y'all thugging together and do some thug shit and you say y'all want to go rob something or something or something. I ain't gonna tell y'all how to do the shit, but you know what I mean. And you get caught and I tell on them, that's snitching. But a civilian can't snitch with that's what they doing. They they just too damn chatty with the damn police. If I was doing that shit, my niggas would look at me like, God damn, huh? You know, you telling the whole play. Who you doing telling the police on them? That's their business over there. Let them do their fucking job, detective. Do your job. Talking to the fucking police. That's some crazy shit right there. They out the black man, I mean, a black woman, man, I don't know what that was, and a damn white man. They're sitting there they're talking to the police, telling them. And they're telling who that woman is and everything. Yeah, that's the old ex shit. Motherfucker, that's. A I'm sorry, man. The nigga came out of me, then the thug came out. Let's get back to this Karen shit. The second time today that police have been called to remove her from a bar. She's been intoxicated nearly the entire day. So the police decide it's time to have a chat with her and get her back to the station. Who's this guy? Quick on your way. Who's a murderer? Yeah. You know what happened to me. If I be honest. What happened to you? If I be quite honest with you. You know what happened to me. I'm telling you. Yeah, but no, this, okay. this is different. Uh, I, I don't know what happened. But you were in bed. Like, what yeah. you like just now or like my whole life? Nah, I was talking to other people. No, you just got into a process here? No, I, 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 we had dinner together over at Turbo like six years ago. And you're going to pretend like you don't know what happened to me? I know why I don't know what happened to you. This town is going to shut Tim and I down everywhere we go because of what happened to me. Because like the it, police department said that I did something wrong. Yeah, because you asked for an all so you must enjoy it. White fucking motherfuckers are figuring that I did something wrong. Okay. Even though all the police department dropped all the charges. Even though all the police department continued to investigate me when they had no right. Uh, so what does that have to do with tonight? Nothing. I don't okay. even know who called the police. So, uh, a few people you should go ask them. So they already told me. They said that you were pushing people and touching people and trying to push people off their stools and acting disorderly. Christina lets the cops know that she believes the city of La Crosse, where they are, is out to get her and her husband. Evidently, the police have investigated her in the past and dropped the case, but obviously there's something bigger at play here, or at least that's what she's trying to insinuate. In reality, Christina is extremely intoxicated and looking for any reason and to blame someone else for the ruckus she's been causing and a way to get out of this situation. The police are told that Christina was politely asked to leave the bar multiple times, to which she violently refused, becoming both verbally and physically abusive, starting oh, no, fights with anyone she could get her hands on. At one point, she even sat down in the middle of the bar and began kicking and screaming like a child. It was at this point the police were called to the scene. She needs to go. I don't care where she's going. I don't care where the f*** she goes. But she needs to go. No, we're not going to go inside, ma'am. Chris, you, you know my name. You, you going there? Oh, you're just gonna accept that? No. We're, we're gonna be able to treat me like this as long as I live here. Treat you like what? This? How are we treating? You're here. Yeah. I did nothing wrong because they called the police out because they're yeah. white. What was the other call? Same thing. Okay. The guy that I talked. He did see that, right? This guy came over to put in a good word for her after talking with Christina in the background, and then she immediately walked over to pay him directly right. in front of the cops. Actually, I don't feel safe no, in no, the city anymore. Yeah, that good. What's more is, <laughs> if something <laughs> happens... It's some crazy shit. It's some crazy shit, man. What the fuck is going on, man? She didn't pay the nigga the 1000 
And this nigga out here, he might be a bum or something. I don't know, man. How you gonna? Everything on camera. These motherfuckers is America's dumbest criminals, man. I thought it was like her little plug. She be selling dope to her. He be selling dope to her or something. But they all that making dick. Oh, my God. So much shit going on in this video. It's my job, bro. I swear to God. You know that. You know that. I swear to God. You're good. Bro, you saw that, right? I, I, I yep. do this shit, yep. bro. For yeah. Thank you. Ma'am, is it okay if we talk over here for a second? No, no, no. I do this shit for real, for real. You come over here and talk to me. Really? And my name is Christina, <laughs> and you know me. I'm just, I'm just calling Don't you call ma'am. Ma Why? Oh, Lord. Thank you. Christina. Because I paid him twice. Did you really need to get the money twice? No, I don't know what you want to talk to me about. Okay. Pretty sure. Hey, look, you look at you to to you Due to everything that's gone on so far, the cops decide to put her in cuffs and take her to jail for the night. Frankly, it's impressive that even while restrained, she still managed to make enemies. On the way back to the car, she refused to cooperate and made her legs weak, forcing the cops to drag her. And even that wasn't the most annoying thing she did on this walk. I need you to put that wallet yep. in my yep. purse. I'm going to carry it all the way over there. Okay, just like no, this. No, I want you to put it in my purse. Well, let's, let's go and then we'll, we'll make it happen, okay? Thank you. I'm not going anywhere. There we go. You need to walk. Yeah. People chilling, going out. That's spine problems. Is there a reason why you're doing this, Christina? Yeah. She had no spine problems back there, paying her nail. Look at her go. <laughs> The man won't show it out, man. Please walk. Please walk. I love to be downtown looking at this shit. Please walk. No, why? Why don't you have police on the phone? How the fuck? I'm going to call it out. It's very Christy, can you please sit in there? No. We're, we're trying to be decent. No, please. You're not being decent. Please. You've been here for a long time. I do know Tim. Yeah, I'm actually That doesn't have anything to do with you. Yeah, it does. I didn't do anything. She's drunk as hell. No, I can't. For you? Okay, ma'am. After acting like this all night, you'd think it'd be time for her to drop the act back at the station. But uh -oh. she thinks differently, get, get choosing to footage. make the entire team's lives as hard as physically possible. Uh, Christy Cabot, she's not real cooperative. She wants to sit in the, she's not resistive. She just wants to sit in the squad car. So we have to force her in there. So. She's right here? Yeah. Christy. You said Christy, right? Yeah. Christy. Can I help you sit up here? Hey, Christy. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Chris, you get your bowl in this PVP on me? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Oh,
What do you call it? Reaction to his shit. Cause I like his shit a little better, man. Um, than other Karen videos. They got some other ones I want to look into and get into and all that stuff. But yo, you now we do it, man. We go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. talking about something. But in the meantime, man, watch some of these videos, man. I just be putting out. Keep the algorithm going to keep shit going, man. Keep shit popping for the channel, man. Um, like I said, I do this shit, but I do other shit on Friday nights live. You can interact with me live. So leave me a comment and hit the um, like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, all them good buttons. You gotta hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. Until next time, fuck with your boy, Heist Man, the folk talk that talk, ghetto news and appeal. This is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.